Hey everyone, welcome back to the Unreal Engine tutorial series where we are creating our own first person shooter game. In part one, we had a look on how to change the camera from a third person to a first person view. And we also had a look on how to create health and armor bars and create a widget to be able to bring those onto display for the player to see. In today's video, we are looking at those bars and the functionality behind them. We're going to look at how to create something called a damage volume, which is a blueprint actor, and that will then take away from the player's health and armor. And we'll also look at some blueprints on how to regenerate health and armor for the main player. So, it should be a relatively nice and short video, but we do have a lot to learn. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing we'll start with is regenerating the player's armor. So we're going to go into the third person character blueprint. Um, we'll go to the event graph and this time we're going to create a event tick nod. So type in event tick. Next, drag out and type in sequence. So we're going to add a sequence. And the reason why we've got a sequence there is that we're going to use it later on in the game. Uh, for now, we're just going to drag out from the then zero and we'll add a delay. And the reason why we're adding a delay is because we don't want to regenerate the whole armor bar all at once. So we'll do a delay uh, of about one second. And once the delay is completed, we'll drag out and create a branch. And the branch is actually one of the most useful nods that you'll be using while creating your game. So in the condition, we'll drag out and do a float less than float. And then we'll connect that to the armor. So we'll type in to get armor and connect the top one to the armor. So the bottom one will be then one, uh, which means that if the armor is less than one, so that's what the branch is looking at now. If the condition of the armor is less than one, if that is true, we're going to set the armor and we'll take, so we'll set the armor, we'll uh, drag out and do a float plus float, and that will then regenerate the armor. So let's get the reference for the armor variable that we created in part one. I will connect that to the top. And then we're going to be regenerating it in 0.01. So like 1% every uh, one second. And that is pretty much how we're going to be able to regenerate the armor once it's been taken away from the player. And just do some tidy up if you like. And then when you're happy, press compile and save. Okay, so what we'll do now is create a function that will start taking away from the player's armor. And once the armor goes all the way down to zero, it will then start taking away from the player's health. So it's a little bit more complicated, but if you follow along, you should be able to understand how it works and you should be able to replicate it on your end. So first thing we'll do is hit plus next to where it says functions. We'll create a new function and we'll name that take damage one. And um, it's always a good habit to put numbers next to any variables, functions, or components, or anything in general that you create in your game, just because you might need to create more variants of it. So in this case, we'll create this to take about 5% damage, but then you would want to make ones that will take more damage for, let's say, different types of bullets or different types of guns. So that's the reason why I've named this take damage one, so we can have multiple ones in the future if we'd like to do so. Okay, so let's drag out from the take damage nod and set armor. Then drag out from armor and let's do float minus float. And 
and then we'll get a reference to our armor variable and connect that to the top. And then on the bottom we'll put 0 0.05 which is about 5% taken away from the armor. Next we'll drag out from the set armor and create a branch. And then from the branch the condition will then be float less than float and let's connect that top one to the set armor so then from true we'll drag out and set health then from the health we'll do a float plus float And then what we'll do is get reference to the armor and connect that to the top and get reference to the health and connect that to the bottom. And then the final thing we'll do for now is drag out and set armor and we'll leave that at zero for now. Okay, so let's compile and save and we'll hit play and have a look at what we've done so far. So as you can see, the armor bar is now regenerating, refilling, which is perfect. Uh, however, obviously, we don't have anything that takes away from the player's armor or health yet. So that's what we're going to be creating next to be able to take that away and then see if it works on regenerating the armor and taking away from the health once the armor has gone down to zero. So I'm just going to set those back to 100% or to 1. And then in the same folder that you have your third person character blueprint, you can right click and select blueprint class and what we're going to select is a blueprint actor. So we're going to name that damage underscore vol for damage volume. Some people call it pain volume. Double click on it to open it up and we're gonna add a component so we'll just add a box collision so type in box select box collision and what i normally like to do just gonna compile and save um make it maybe i'll make it a little bit bigger because i know it's going to be quite small there so we'll make it um, a bit bigger and then normally what i'd like to do is actually take that actor and put it into the level or the map so I can see the size of it and have a better idea of how big or small it is. So let's do that. So you just have to drag it out and place it wherever you'd like in your level. And I'm just gonna delete those two because they're really annoying me. Okay, perfect. And then, um, yeah, we'll move that up a little bit and just see how it looks. I think it looks perfect there and the size is great. So we'll leave it at that and just click, click save. Then going back into the damage volume blueprint, we're going to go to the event graph tab on the top. And then we're going to be using the event actor begin overlap. So we won't need the event, event begin play or event tick for now. So drag out from other actor and let's cast to third person character. I know a lot of people don't like casting, but for now I'm trying to keep it simple, so I'm not going to use any components. We'll just use casting for now. And then as a third person character, we're going to call on to that take damage one that we've created. So that function, so type in take damage or whatever you named it. And that is this function that we've created earlier. Hit compile and save. And if we actually go and press play now and start colliding into that, damage volume uh, blueprint you'll see that it's taken away from the uh, armor so every time we collide into it it will take a little bit out of the armor and you can see the armor is regenerating so that's all good good to see that it's all working however what I would like it to do is that when we stay inside that volume it would keep taken away from the armor until it goes down to zero and then we can see that it takes away from the health so let's go back into the event graph and we're gonna create a new variable Uh, we're gonna call this one is in volume
and what we'll do is before it takes damage after we cast the third person character we're going to set the is in volume variable we'll connect that through it so we'll connect it between the cast the third person character and the take damage and then make sure to tick it because we need it to be true so ticked means that the player is in volume and what we'll do is we'll do the opposite so we'll create a new node begin end overlap And again, we're going to set that is in volume variable only this time. We're not actually going to take it, which means that it's not true. So one being the player is within that area and the other is obviously being that the player is left that area. And let's go back to the take damage one nod and drag out and create you guessed it another branch so then the condition for this branch would be is in volume so let's get a reference to that variable is in volume connect that to the condition and then when it's true we'll do a little bit of a delay because again we don't want to take the whole thing all at once so we'll do a duration of 0.7 And so once the delay is completed, then it can go back and start taking damage. And that is pretty much it. That is everything you need to be able to take away from the player's armor continuously as long as they're within the damage volume. Once the armor goes all the way down to zero, it will then start taking away from the player's health. We're not going to regenerate health yet because we are actually going to be looking at uh, health pickup. So we'll create some uh, components that the player can pick up to regenerate health so as you can see there if i stay within the damage volume it will keep taking the armor down all the way to zero and once it's gone down to zero then it will start taking away from the health And with this, we'll end today's tutorial. I hope you were able to understand everything that we've done so far and learn how to use some functions. And I would highly appreciate it as always if you let me know by liking the video or making a comment because it does help with the algorithm and it helps me understand which content to focus on. Otherwise, as always, thank you very much for your support to the channel. Until next time.